To define outgoing alarms you need to add them into the new voice alarm central. Start by opening the alarm central. In the top menu choose the option alarm and choose add new alarm now select the alarms you want to add into the alarm central and add them by pressing the green button and confirm by pressing the add button. Possible alarm range is from 2000 to 9999 but 7000 are used for WAGO and 9000 are used for system alarms. Now start to define your alarm by a double click or a right click and select edit alarm settings. In the first setting window you define the basics of the alarm, start with the field alarm name where is define how this alarm is named and can be used for scanning for alarms, define a name and press on set. With the drop down menu alarm group you define the group which shall receive the alarm. Make sure that the group is filled with persons and you click on set after a change is done. With the option add initiator to group can be defined if the initiator of the alarm when launched via phone can be put into the group dynamic or be taken out of the group if he is already inside. Press on settings to define what should happen with the initiator and press set after you change the settings. The option alarm type is how the how the alarm is processed. You can define between parallel where Moby call tries to reach all entries at once. Sequent for calling every person in a row. If one entry picks up the call the other calls won't be processed. Conference parallel for calling all people in the group at the same time and put those in a conference together at pick up from the call. Conference with first for calling all together and stop ringing if one person accepts the call and is put in a conference together with the initiator. Relay contact is to switch a relay in case of an alarm to on or off or to switch on for a defined time. In the alarm symbol settings you define what symbol should be shown beside the alarm in the overview. To notice at first sight what usage this alarm belongs to. Alarm department needs to be defined for the ACL in web to give the users the rights to administrate and view only specific alarms, must be in the ACL format, alarm department. Text for scan is a field where you can enter a text what should be scanned for launching alarms from a third party system. Once active Moby call won't have a look in the alarm name for scan anymore. Can be activated in the interface. Schedule plans can be defined here in this setting menu. First activate the box check for schedule and or week plan action. Once active a schedule needs to be created and administrated. The possibilities are, schedule plan and week plan. In the schedule plan you can plan the whole year, and define different actions on public holidays or on vacation time. In the week plan you can create a plan for every day of the week. This plan will be used for every week with the same settings. Create a schedule or a week plan by pressing the button Create New beside the Schedule Plan or Week Plan drop down menu. Choose if you want to use the alarm number as Schedule Plan number or if you want to give an own number. Next window is to create a new empty schedule plan or to copy from an existing one. In the new voice schedule, what opened up now can be defined what should happen within this time or out of this time. On top of this window can be defined what should happen here can be either the group changed for this alarm, the alarm number changed or an offset can be added to the alarm for launching. By the drop down menu default alarm number can be defined what alarm number should be launched if the scheduler does not match. Below a label and a comment can be given for this plan, this has nothing functional to do. By pressing on the add button a new entry can be defined, choose your weekday. Define the time of the scheduler. Warning, by using the week plan editor you can't jump over 12 o'clock p.m. You can either go on one day to 23.59 and on the next day from 0 o'clock on to the wanted time. As example by day and night shifts we recommend to make the default group or the default alarm to the night shift and just go to the day shift group in the defined time from the scheduler. Press save and close to confirm your settings or save and next to define more entries. Within the rings and priority settings window you can define different options for the call in this alarm. First is the option number of rings for outgoing phone calls the default value is 8 calls, 1 call equals 5 seconds so by default the phone rings 40 seconds, you can turn this value up or down, press set when changes were made. 
Next setting is the ring pattern settings by pressing this button you can define different ringtones for different devices, this needs special settings like any CDMLS or Alcatel special decked. By pressing the button CLI number settings are three options to set, first option is to use the global CLI for every alarm, by default it is new voice mobby call. Second option is to not send in CLI for this alarm, so the call will be shown as suppressed user and third option is to send a specific CLI for this alarm, you can set up that every alarm shows another number in the receiving phone, can be useful by alarming on GSM phone since it is not possible to show any text in a call to a GSM phone. The next options are only active if supported by PBX. First option is to broadcast the alarm. When active Mobi call opens the speaker from the phone and broadcasts the message. Second option is to activate a distinctive unique ringtone for internal calls only. Third option is the intrusion, where Mobi call opens up an existing voice call and speaks the message on a third channel in the call. Be careful on sensitive voice messages with this function. Fourth option is to camp on busy, if the dialed phone is in the call. Mobi call tries to reach the device when available again. Fifth option is the force release, to disconnect an existing call and repeat the alarm call to the receiver. The last option on this page is for the priorities, here can be set on what queue the calls shall be made, within the queue the available lines can be defined for every queue. In the confirmation settings tab can be defined how the user needs to confirm the alarm, to make sure somebody receives it. First is a drop down menu where you can define if you want to confirm with password, confirm with ID and password or to confirm with key 3. By activating the option confirm with password the below grayed out password field is now available, here you can define the password. By activating the option confirm with ID and password you have the option to edit the ID and password list where you enter the ID and password globally. By activating confirmation with 3 none of the just mentioned settings are available, the user needs to press key 3 to confirm the alarm. First checkbox is to activate that the confirmation is needed before the voice message is being played, activate this for sensitive content. By activating the second checkbox a personal pin is needed to hear the alarm message, if no valid pin is entered, the alarm message won't be played, the personal pin can be given in the settings of the person. Third checkbox is to activate special confirmations, to give information in the alarm when the person that confirmed is available for handling this alarm. Fifth checkbox is to start a predefined conference alarm to dial specified numbers with a conference call, this option must be activated in the global confirmation settings first. Sixth checkbox is to stop outgoing calls if a specified amount of persons answered or confirmed the alarm. MobiCall does not disconnect calls that are already in dialog. Seventh and last checkbox is to let the users hear a message that the alarm has been already confirmed when the given confirmation level has reached. In the general text message field can be defined what message should be sent in case of an alarm. This field has a maximum length of 140 characters and is used for SMS, email, pager, many message, text to speech and so on. Enter a message and confirm by pressing set. You can also define different messages for different languages, this needs to be activated in the new voice setup wizard and the correct language must be given to the persons in the personnel editor. By pressing on all messages can be defined what message should be used for what language. By the setting add additional information below can be set what information should be sent with the message, possible is the caller number who launched the alarm to send a call back number to confirm the alarm for an SMS receiver as example or to add the caller name while launched the alarm if provided by PBX. With the message template drop down menu below can be dynamic and static messages used together, basically Mobi call uses dynamic messages for the alarm, if not existing it will use static message, only if you want to use a part dynamic and a part static message. With the setting send mini message UUE can be defined if the mini message shall be sent with the call, after the call or after a positive confirmation. Last checkbox is to send an SMS as a flash message, by activating the SMS are shown on the display instant without pressing on read. 
In the setting tab display message can be defined what message should be shown in the display at call or after call. First option is the button all messages where you can see all display messages for all languages. Settings for general display message is a field with a limit of 16 digits for the first display message, this message is shown in the call. Also here can be added additional informations like caller name, call back number or caller number. Also message templates can be used here, it must be sure that the message won't get longer than 16 digits, everything above 16 digits will be cut. The field below is the same settings for display message too, what defines the message that is shown after a pickup from the call. In the voice message settings window can be defined what voice messages are sent at the alarm call, the voice file must be in the format. 16 bit 8 kHz mono wave file. First option is to adjust how often the voice message shall be repeated. Two times by default. It is said that a default alarm message is played, by default there is no existing one and so Moby Call uses the message what says the alarm has been launched. There is no need for any action if there is a file in the folder d colon backslash dbv1 with a format like vAlarm number underscore one dot wa then Moby call uses this message for the alarm given in the name of the wave file. Or you can define a specific alarm message below. Next setting is by activating the checkbox and entering a number, Moby call will always call this number at alarm launch and record a message from this phone. Press the button play to hear your current alarm message via speaker. Press the button play on phone to call a phone and hear your alarm message via the phone. Press the button record on phone to call a phone and record an alarm message for this one alarm in the correct format. This one will be named correctly and put in the folder d colon backslash dbv1. Press the button all messages to see all voice messages for different languages. There is also the possibility to play a pre-message or a post-message, depending on which of the last two checkboxes are active, it is also possible to activate both. With MobiCall you can also create events on alarm start and check the specified events, to avoid multiple alarming from an interface as example. Activate the box check event and press on edit at the right side. Here you can add, delete or edit your events. After you created events select one from the drop down menu. Below you can define what should happen, it is possible to say if event was updates or not updated in the defined time range then stop this alarm. Below can be said if the event is not too old or is too old. With the option update event you can update specified events. Last setting is to reset a specific event and continue with this alarm. Within the contact controller setting window you can define what should happen on a change of the contact status, the contact must be assigned to the alarm you are defining in. By default is set that when the status change to on the alarm is started, same as with the status change to off. You can choose between nothing, start alarm and reset alarm. By activating the box below you can define an alarm which should be launched if the status of the contact gets a reset. Switch to off. By activating the next checkbox you can check the status of a day and night contact. Once active you can define as the alarm status on or off, you can continue either with an offset for this alarm, change to another alarm key, change to another alarm group, wait with alarm until state changes to off or on again or to cancel the alarm. Within the alarm escalation tab a amount of positive confirmations can be confirmed. If the positive confirmation should not reach this amount, several options can be defined. The first option is to define the amount of persons, it is either possible to define from 1 to 9 persons or from 10 to 100%. Next setting is to define the time when the escalation should start after alarm start, by default 90 seconds are given. Next setting is to define the alarm which should be launched in case of an escalation. By default it is the same alarm but another alarm can also be defined, then the settings from the other alarm will be taken. Below you can set the amount of loops how often the alarm shall be repeated. Next checkbox is to only dial numbers in the escalation what did not answer or confirm the alarm when active, to avoid escalations on persons that acknowledge the call. 
Since SMS or email is not safe to confirm you can set to take them out of the escalation, then Moby call will not count an SMS what is not delivered because of an error to the escalation counter. Next option is to start another alarm if the maximum numbers of loops is reached and the alarm was not successful. Last option is to start an additional alarm if the alarm was successful without escalation. With the checkbox check alarm contact Moby call will check the contact from this alarm number if it is still on. Activate the box to check if the alarm contact of this alarm is still on. A time in minutes needs to be defined for this option. If the contact is still on after the predefined time is over then choose an alarm will be started. The alarm needs to be defined via the drop down menu. With the menu below can be set the amount of loops for this escalation. Activate the last checkbox to monitor a person with an endless number of loops. Within the alarm report settings window can be set that Moby call sends a report from the finished alarm to specified receivers to let them know the status of the confirmations of this alarm. At the setting alarm report receivers press on edit to define if you want to send the report to a printer, to an email recipient or to a fax device. At the setting start alarm report when can be defined the time when the report should be sent to the specified receivers. By default it is set that the report will be sent as text with the basic alarm data, this can be changed to send the report with an HTML template, the templates can be adjusted as needed. By activating the checkbox below an alternative alarm can be started to send the report. By activating this option the report can also be sent to receivers which are not email, fax or printers. Once active, you need to define a message template for the report. By default there is English and a German message template already existing what can be defined. With the drop down menu start module on alarm completion you can define a module what will update a third party system as example. Below needs to be set the amount of persons needed that this alarm is successful. By the checkbox below you can activate to call a defined phone number or the initiator of this alarm to play the alarm report. Last checkbox is to not show this alarm in the SQL alarm viewer. Within the extended settings you have several options possible for this alarm to define. First setting is to delay this alarm for an amount of seconds before it gets started. When given a delay the option check the alarm status after the delay and if it is not active, OFF, anymore, then cancel the alarm. To let the alarm only launch when the status is on. By activating the next checkbox you can define a time, when the alarm was already launched in this defined time then it won't launch again until the time is over. Next setting is only possible to check on a sequent alarm. When the alarm status is off then no person will be called anymore and the alarm will be cancelled. Activate the next checkbox to set the status of the alarm to on when it gets launched. With the next checkbox you can activate the option that the alarm won't be launched again as long as it has its status on. Next checkbox is to set the status from this alarm back to off when the alarm is finished. Next setting is to send the alarm as pop-up to all internal phones from this group. The devices needs to be registered as pop-up clients. By activating the next box you can define a command what will be started at alarm start. This can be any Windows command or Moby call command. Next checkbox is to reset defined alarms. Single alarms or an alarm range what does not switch their status to off on alarm completion. Next checkbox is to start a module on an answer from a called phone. Last checkbox is to start a second alarm key for this alarm, when active define an alarm, maybe with a delay. Never forget to press the set button after changes are made.